What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we are going to visit Isla Sawana. So we start the day out in Punta Cana over at the impressive all-inclusive hotel. Which, you know, is it that impressive? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys if you actually stay there to comment and let us know how you really feel. But anyway, we did book a tour through that resort and this tour ended up being a really nice tour. Uh, we ended up getting on a bus at around 6.30, no, 7 o'clock a.m. And it took about an hour and a half to get there because we had to do a couple stops along the way. That's what we're going to show you in this travel guide of Isla Sawana. You're definitely going to want to see this Windex colored water, this Gatorade colored water. When I say Gatorade water, I mean it's the color of that Arctic blue, you know, clear water. So the way this works is you actually arrive at the Wyndham Hotel in Bahai Bay. From there, you take a catamaran to the Caribbean pool, as they call it. It's this area where it's waist high water, uh, completely see through. They do have some starfish, although you shouldn't touch them, but it's a great little swimming area. That's where we start out first as the catamaran drops anchor. And then from there, we head further on to Isla Sawana for lunch and more swimming. Yeah, so now we're on the catamaran. We're going to take it over to Salon Island. Just some quick details about this catamaran. It is like an all-inclusive experience as in the fact that they have some food on there that you don't have to pay for. They also have drinks, lots of rum, if you guys are into that. And it's all gonna come with the experience. Now, from here, we take off and uh, you have to take off your shoes when you get on this boat, by the way. You can see they're actually raising the sail here so that we can get some more wind behind the sail, as they say. Uh, I didn't say how much it cost, it was $99 per person. I got some uh, medicine out here, some rum. We're going out here to this island, it's gonna be fun. And in case you're wondering what you do when you're on your way out there to that swimming pool, as they call it, for 45 minutes, you do dancing, you have some drinks of rum. You also get pictures taken. The photographer on the boat actually takes some really high quality uh, pictures that I actually bought. I don't usually do that. Uh, usually I'm the type of guy that says, no, no, no need to be pictures, but uh, he was such a good photographer at what he did. He knew how to make you, you know, stand straight and uh, cost me 50 bucks for a bunch of pictures. I thought it was worth it. So did a little bit of that, lots of dancing. You don't have to do the pictures obviously. And then just beautiful sightseeing along the way. So here we are actually at that swimming area where the waist high water is. You can see everyone just kind of wading in the water, swimming around their respective boat. Beautiful temperature, beautiful clear water, really feels good. If you want vitamin C, you're going to get it right here. Really beautiful water here. Some people thought, thought it was cold, but I didn't think it was cold at all. I mean, really nice, uh, especially when you're in it. Like, it's not challenging at all. You can see everything going on underneath you. It's like a swimming pool. You can stand up, up to your chest, no problem, everywhere. They got starfish in here. Just don't pull them out of the water because if you do, they, it's like suffocating them when you pull them out of the water into the air. But other than that, really a cool place. And we ended up staying here about 45 minutes to an hour. I don't remember the exact length. Um, you know, you could spend 20 minutes in the water and then go back on the boat and have a drink or do whatever you want, listen to some music and uh, just really relax. It's right off the beach here and true tropical Caribbean paradise as I would frame it and call it.
Yeah, so now we've left the catamaran and we're actually on a speedboat. We're going to go ashore and have some lunch. And I got my uh, handy dandy Dominican Republic, you know, attire. Uh, yes, that hat that I'm wearing, you might have seen that in a pirate movie, but it's actually kind of what they wear out here in the Dominican Republic. And uh, some would call it a do-rag, but it was fun to actually wear that. All right, we finally arrived at Tawan Island. They got the comida. Look at this. Beautiful. It's a paradise. Let's go see what they got. I'm so hungry for the comida and I'm excited. They got pollo, carne, yard bird, you know. So let's do it. Manja, as they say around here, manjare. Eat up. Look at all that. Chicken, yard bird, some pork, noodles, rice, veggies. Water. And we were here for about two hours as the time started to pass by between eating, swimming, and then swimming some more, uh, doing a little bit of walking around, talking, socializing with other catamaran crews. Uh, all of a sudden, a storm started to billow over the island and it came down rain for about 15 minutes and then it dried up and the sun came out again. That's really common out here in the Dominican Republic, especially in the Punta Cana area, for it to uh, build up with storm clouds and then rain for 15 minutes, really heavy, and then just stop. They did have some shelters for us to uh, cover under also. So as you may have noticed, we're no longer on a catamaran. We are on a speedboat that is by design. So you go there on a catamaran, takes about an hour and a half, and then you come back on a speedboat, takes about 25 minutes to 30 minutes, really quick on the way back. I like that. We are headed back now. Gotta wear a life back. And after you wrap that up, you stop at a little uh, coffee plantation with chocolate and they talk to you about some of the things they have going on there like Mama Juana. And then from there, you uh, head back and as you can imagine after a day like that, you've got a really good appetite. All inclusive resorts always have those big buffets, all you can eat. So after a long day like that, that's what you do. And we're going to actually do our next one coming up, showing you all around Punta Cana. So you're going to want to stick around for that. If you're new here, welcome. All you new subscribers and to you continued subscribers, thanks for continuing to support this channel and like the videos.